In question 13, we derived an expression that we can use to determine the density of a solid using a density bottle and another liquid such as kerosene. Now, in question 15, we want to see how this expression can be applied. So in this question, we are told that the mass of a density bottle of volume 50 centimeters cubed is 10 grams when empty. Aluminium tannins are poured into the bottle and the total mass is 60 grams. Water is then added into the tannins till the bottle is full. If the total mass of the bottle and its contents is 90 grams, calculate the density of the aluminium tannins. Question 13 had four basic steps. Step number one was to determine the mass of an empty density bottle. Step number two, we filled the density bottle with a liquid. In that case, it was kerosene. Step number three, we found the mass of a solid and the density bottle. And step number four, we filled the space above the solid with a liquid whose density was known. In that case, it was kerosene. In that question, we derived this expression where we determined the density of copper tannins. Therefore, we determined the mass of copper and the volume of copper. But that method could be used for any solid. In this question, we are trying to determine the density of aluminium. The other difference is that in question 13, the liquid used was kerosene whose density is 0 0.8 grams per centimeters cubed. In this question, water is used. The density of water is 1 gram per centimeters cubed. That is why we have this value here. Instead of 0 0.8, we have 1 because the density of the liquid used here is water. Otherwise, everything else remains the same. Now, in this question, you realize that step number two has not been given. Where we measure the mass of the liquid and the density bottle, it's not been given. But if we want to use this expression, we can get this value here. We can get this value because we already know the mass of an empty density bottle, which is 10 grams. All we need to do is find the mass of the water inside here. We know that mass is density times volume. The density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cubed and, and its volume is 50 centimeters cubed. 50 centimeters cubed. How do I know this? I've already been told that the volume of the density bottle is 50 centimeters cubed. So... If we put a liquid and that liquid completely fills up the density bottle, then the volume of that liquid is also 50 centimeters cubed, 50 grams. So in order to get M2, which is the mass of the density bottle and the water, we just need to add 50 grams here. And this gives us 60 grams. This value appears to be equal to the mass of aluminium and the density bottle. According to the question, we are told that aluminium tannins are poured into the bottle and the total mass is, is 60 grams. So M2 is equal to M3. However, let's just substitute those values as they are. So M3, which is the mass of aluminium tannins and the density bottle, is 60 grams. So the density of aluminium is 60 minus M1, which is 10. And then all these is divided by M2 is 60. We subtract M1, which is 10. We subtract M4, which is the, the total mass of aluminium, water, and the density bottle, which is 90. And then we add M3, 
which is 60. And then all this is multiplied by 1 gram per centimeter cubed. So the answer to this expression will have the units grams per centimeter cubed. So let's simplify this expression. 60 minus 10 is 50. Sixty minus ten is fifty. Fifty minus ninety is minus forty. And then plus sixty. And this will give us fifty over twenty. And this is two point five grams per centimeter cubed. That is how we would use this expression which we derived in question 13 to solve this question. Now let's look at a different method which is closely related to this method here. In this question, we are just given three steps. Mass of the empty density bottle. Mass of aluminum tannings and the density bottle, which we are going to call M2, this value of M2 is not the same as the M2 in the previous method or in question 13. And finally, we have M3, which is the total mass of the density bottle, aluminum tannings, and water. Now we need to calculate the density of aluminum. So we need two things. We need mass of aluminum and volume of aluminium. So let's insert these details. M1 is 10 grams. M2 is 60 grams. And M3 is 90 grams. In order to get mass of aluminium, I just need M2 minus M1. That one is direct. How about volume of aluminium? Now in this question, I've been given the volume of this empty density bottle. It is 50 centimeters cubed. That is the internal volume of that density bottle. I've been given M3 here. The difference between M3 and M2 will give me the mass of the water above the aluminium. So this mass of water here, which we can call MW, is actually 90 grams minus 60 grams, which will give me 30 grams. I also know the density of water. So in order to get the volume of this water, because I need it, I need this volume. In order to get the volume of this water, I need the mass of the water itself divided by the density of water. The mass of this water is 30 grams. The density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cubed. Combining these two, I find that the volume of water above the aluminium is 30 centimeters cubed. Now let's go back here. The volume of this water is 30 centimeters cubed. The space occupied by this water happens to be equal to the empty space in step 2. This empty space above the aluminium is also equal to the volume of any liquid which is poured in here in order to fill the bottle completely. So how much is the volume of this empty space? It is equal to the volume of this water, which we have just worked out to be 30 centimeters cubed. So this volume here is also 30 centimeters cubed. Now we are getting close to the answer. The volume of the density bottle, the internal volume of the density bottle is 50 centimeters cubed. 
The volume of the empty space above the aluminium turnings is 30 cm cubed. So it follows that the volume of this aluminium must be the difference between this volume and this volume. So the volume of aluminium is 50 minus 30 which gives me 20 centimeters cubed. On the other hand, M2 minus M1, which was 10, then 50 minus 30 is 20. And this gives me 50 divided by 20, of course, 50 grams divided by 20 centimeters cubed. And the answer becomes 2.5 grams per centimeters cubed. And this is the density of aluminium. It's just as simple as that. When you think about the density of the solid, the first thing you think about is which equation can I use to calculate that density? And it happens to be mass over volume. And then look at the details provided in the question and then ask yourself, how can I be able to determine each one of these physical quantities? And as you work through the question, do not lose sight of where you are going. Don't get carried away by all these numbers here. All these numbers here are determined by what we are looking for. So when you are given information in the question, the examiner is trying to prompt you in a certain direction to make you think in a certain direction. You will get this by doing as many questions as possible in this area.